It takes strength. It takes courage. It takes discipline. Because when you fail, you're not only letting down yourself, you're letting down the people around you that supported you through the process. My name is Sergeant Matt Mortensen. I'm a member of the World Class Athlete Program based out of Fort Carson, Colorado, and I'm also a member of the United States Luge Team. It's extremely Twelve points tight up on between Goyker. Matt and, and, and Robin right now, so those two teams are really fighting it out. It all boils down to this, and they're good. They're very good. Wow. That was awesome. It's really important for the Army because it showcases the Army's ability to support soldiers in what they do and challenges me to be a better soldier. I'm originally from Long Island, so the amount of Long Islanders that know about the sport of luge is probably about nine, the size of my family, right? I had no idea what it was at all. It was just something that my dad thought would be fun for the guys to do over the weekend, which it was, and now here I am. This will be my second time going to the Olympics, so it's a little bit of a different perspective. The first time around, I was really excited about the experience and going to the Olympics, walking into opening ceremonies was the biggest dream of my life. The sport of luge is a relatively small sport, and obviously it's very unique. Luge is a winter sport where an individual can compete in the singles or the doubles discipline, lying on their back, going about 80 miles an hour down an ice chute, kind of like what a roller coaster would be on ice. So in 2010, I had just barely missed out on the Winter Olympic Games, and I came to kind of a crossroads in my life and my career. I signed up for the military. I was able to get into the World Class Athlete Program. Honestly, without the World Class Athlete Program, or WCAP as we call it, I wouldn't have been able to continue my life as an athlete. I think my favorite part of actually going down the track is the adrenaline I get before each run. It's a little bit of nerves and a little bit of adrenaline, and I feed off of it. I love that feeling. You ready? I love doing this. I love being a part of the military. I love being an athlete. And I like the emotional support that being a soldier gives me. I know that when I'm competing, I'm not only representing myself or my family, I'm representing the military as well. And if only a couple of thousand of soldiers watched us compete, that would make my day. And right now, if they were to follow me, then they would follow my journey to the Olympics in Pyeongchang. It gives me the chills even thinking about it. To be going to do that again is, is unbelievable, but I am coming in hoping for medals. <laughs> 